Philippine 3 is a polyene macrolide antibiotic that is commonly used as a fluorescent probe to detect and visualize cholesterol in biological membranes. It is a member of the Philippine complex, which also includes Philippine I and Philippine II. These compounds are produced by the fermentation of the actinomycete streptomyces philippinensis. Philippine 3 works by binding to cholesterol in the membranes of cells and forming a fluorescent complex. This allows for the visualization of cholesterol-rich regions of the membrane and the study of cholesterol dynamics in cells. The fluorescence intensity of the Philippine cholesterol complex can be measured using various techniques such as carfocal microscopy, flow cytometry, and spectrofluorometry. Philippine 3 has been used extensively in biochemical and biomedical research to study various aspects of cholesterol metabolism and signaling. For example, it has been used to study the role of cholesterol in membrane trafficking, endocytosis, and signal transduction. It has also been used to investigate the effects of cholesterol-lowering drugs on cell membranes and to identify new targets for drug development. In addition to its research applications, Philippine 3 has also been used clinically as a diagnostic tool for Neiman Pick disease, a rare genetic disorder characterized by the accumulation of cholesterol and other lipids in the lysosomes of cells. Philippine 3 staining can be used to identify the presence of cholesterol-laden lysosomes in affected cells, aiding in the diagnosis of the disease. However, Philippine 3 has some limitations, including its toxicity and potential for nonspecific binding to other membrane lipids. To overcome these limitations, various derivatives of Philippine 3 have been developed, such as the more stable and specific fluorescent probe, Philippine sterile conjugates. Overall, Philippine 3 is a valuable tool for studying cholesterol in biological membranes and has significant applications in both research and clinical settings. Its mechanism of action is based on its ability to bind to cholesterol and form a fluorescent complex, allowing for visualization and measurement of cholesterol dynamics. However, its limitations necessitate the development of novel derivatives and alternative probes.